Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Cougar. Uh, today's interview question is going to be about writing a function or a program to check whether given two strings or anagram of each other or no. So what do we mean by anagram of a string? An anagram of a string is another string that contains the same characters. So the first condition is going to be that this should contain the same characters means the both strings must have the same length. Only the order of the characters can be different. For example, A, B, C, D and D, A, B, C are the same or anagram of each other because both of them contain four characters. Only the characters are arranged in different way. Or silent and lesson uh, are anagram of each other. Uh, they have the same character, the same length, only the order of the characters are, the, are different. So suppose for this program, we assume that both characters will be given in lowercase. Otherwise, we can check, uh, we can convert both the uh, character, both strings uh, to lower cases in our function. But for this program, we assume that uh, both the strings will be given in lower cases. Okay. So uh, suppose we are giving two strings, str1 and str2. The first thing in our function, we are going to check whether uh, the size or the length of these two strings are the same or not. If they are not the same, we just simply return false. Otherwise, we proceed. So since we have 26 letters in alphabet, in English alphabet, we are going to define an array of in integer array of size 26 and uh, array. Let's call the array count equal to new and of uh, 26 okay uh, so what it basically going to do is it will uh, define or allocate an array of size uh, 26 starting from index 0 1 2 3 and all the way to 25 so why do we need this array we are going to correspond uh, each index or each element in this array to each alphabet later in English. So suppose we correspond index 0 for A, index B, index 1 for B, index 2 for C, and index 3 for D, all the way up to index 25 for Z. Next, we are going to uh, traverse to a string 1 and a string 2, and we check each alphabet or each character in a string 1 and a string 2. Suppose we traverse to a string one and we found a B uh, so first we when we define our this string all the elements in the string will be initialized to zero this will be zero 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 all of them zero so we traverse through a string one and a string two suppose we found a B in a string one we going to increment its count by one we found a D in a, in a string one we increment it is uh, value or it's in a uh, value at index 3 by 1 suppose we found two z's in a string 1 we increment uh, the value at 25th index uh, by 2 like this will be 2 at the same time we uh, uh, traverse to a string 2 elements uh, and if we found an b in a string 2 we decrement the value at index 1 by 1 so this is going to be 0 if we found a D in a string 2, we're going to decrement uh, the index uh, 3 by two by 1, it's going to be 0. And if we found two Z's in a string uh, 2, we're going to decrement this 2 times, it's going to be 0. Okay. At the end, we will check if all the elements of count are equal to 0. If any element is not equal to 0, that means the strings are not anagram of each other, we return false. Otherwise, if all the elements in the count uh, array are zero, we return true. So the question will arise like how to find the index value for each characters, okay? Uh, as we know, the ASCII value of A is, is 97, okay? The ASCII value of A is 97. Suppose we are given a string uh, cat, okay? Uh, let's uh, this is str1 equal to cat and str2 is going to be like t c a okay they're anagram of each other they have the same character same size but the order are 
uh, different. To find, we uh, if we traverse uh, through this string, we found character C. So A is 97, B is 98, uh, C is uh, 99, D is uh, 100. So to find the index value of C, what we are going to do is we uh, uh, subtract ASCII value of C minus A. Okay, C is 100, 100 minus 97, it's going to be, it's going to give us 3. So if we saw a C, we are going to increment uh, the value at index 3 by 1. So index uh, 97 be 99, oh, that's 99, sorry. So it's going to give us 2. We are going to increment uh, the value at index 2 by 1, okay? This is the way we can find the index value of uh, each character for this uh, array of um, integer array. So what we are going to do, count of str1 at index i. So we, are, we will have a for loop here uh, at uh, index i. Suppose we found for the first uh, iteration, we uh, i will be 0, we found c minus the ASCII value of a. So we found this index value. This is going to be give us two. So we count, we increment count of two by one. Okay. At the same time, uh, we are going to uh, decrement uh, for the string two count of a string two at index i minus a, and we decrement that. Okay. If we traverse for the string two and we found c. Okay, so C ASCII value is going to be 99 minus 97. It's going to give us 2. So for the uh, for the uh, for the string 2, we are, we will decrement this back. It will be 0. So same case with uh, for all letters in string 1 and string 2. So let's go and write some code and see what's happening here. So first we are going to write a, a function public. Uh, static this function is going to return boolean let's call it is anagram this function takes two string uh, str1 and str uh, a string str2 okay the first thing we said we are going to check whether they are the same size or not let's say f str1 dot length and not equal to str two dot length okay uh, we just simply return false since there cannot be anagram of each other otherwise we proceed and we define an integer array and uh, array let's call it count equal to new end of uh, size 26 okay so since uh, str1 and str2 are the same size we can use uh, the length of any string to uh, create a for loop for and uh, i equal to zero. Uh, let's call it uh, i less than str two dot length. We can use str one or str two dot length. So we are going to increment the count at, at, at each index by one. Okay. We are not going to increment count of i. Instead, we say str one. Uh, so I uh, minus character A plus plus. Okay, we we are going to find each character at a string one. We take its uh, ASCII value and we uh, subtract the ASCII value of A. That will give us the index value for that character. So suppose if we found an A. Here, str1 of i is a, uh, that uh, ASCII value of a will be 97, 97 minus 97 is going to be 0, so it will increment count of 0 by 1. Uh, since we said uh, the index 0 will be corresponding to a, index 1 will be corresponding to b, and so on, okay? At the same time, we will traverse through uh, a string 2 and we decrement that uh, index value by 1. If we 
found an a and a string two also so we uh, decrement that uh, index zero by one at the end we check if all the elements in this count is zero if not if zero will return true otherwise we return false for each let's use a for each loop var item and count okay if if uh, item not equal to zero we return uh, false means that uh, they don't have the same characters otherwise at the end of the function we just return true okay uh, let's run our program and check uh, uh, let's call our function here as anagram uh, we pass it to a string let's pass it uh, silent and the second uh, let's pass it lesson since they are anagram of each other our functions should return true perfect uh, our function return true uh, let's change let's add an e here and let's add a y here they have the same length but the, not the same characters so this they, they cannot be anagram of each other and our function returns false so this was a quick video on how to uh, uh, write a function to check whether two strings are anagram of each other or not thank you for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe to code with cougar and see you in the next video bye bye